Rajburi, Thailand is a small community in a rice farming area about 80 miles southwest of Bangkok. It is the location of a floating market where, for generations, goods have been sold from hand-paddled boats. It is also the location of Tri Energy Company, or TECO, a state-of-the-art natural gas power plant. The contrasting images of traditional Thai culture and modern technology capture some of the challenges that Chevron encountered while helping create a world-class record for safety and reliability. TECO is a joint venture of Chevron Global Power and Rochbury Holdings, the largest independent power producer in Thailand. General Electric operates the facility under an operations and maintenance contract. Uh, we selected GE because uh, GE is the, 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 the owner of the, the te technology we use. We use the GE cast turbine. We use a GE steam turbine, we use a GE generator, so it's better to use GE as an operator. And if something happens, they, they, lots of help from the all around the world can help, help, help us on that. At TECO, Chevron does not have direct supervision of the predominantly Thai workforce or the contractors hired by GE to do the maintenance at the plant. But instilling Chevron's operational excellence culture has always been a priority. You know, GE is a big company, and they've got um, their own processes and procedures, and they've got their own folks, and they've got their own way of doing things. The folks, uh, you know, out in the plant don't work for us directly, so we don't have like PMP responsibility to have re direct rewards and consequences for good or bad behavior. You know, it takes uh, us uh, working to help influence the way our contractors, our partners, everybody works to. Uh, do things safely to keep you know, high reliability, to implement things like operational excellence. It's hard to find fault with a 99.45% reliability rating and zero lost time injuries since the plant began operation in 2000. But a few years ago, the TECO management team became concerned about a number of serious near misses. It became apparent that the joint venture partners and the contracting company were seeing the safety metrics differently. Some of the first things that we did were align our metrics. We instituted safety stand-down days where we take everybody in the plant who's not actually operating it that day and we all come basically in this room and we talk about safety. There was big disagreement between uh, the folks on the management team and the folks on the deck plates. The entire workforce got involved in resolving these disagreements and exploring the importance of safety. The EHS committee has driven safety from the bottom up. I just oversee, just look to see that they're going in the right direction. They have done absolutely marvellous job. This committee is composed of key plant personnel who are responsible for communicating safety policies and promoting safety awareness in the workforce. You know, when we first instituted the, the safety committee, it was something that, you know, the, the senior guys on the crew would say you know, to the junior guys, you're going to be on the safety committee because nobody wants to do that. Well, now that's not the case. Um, you know, we kind of almost have a fight to get on the safety committee. The contractor management program includes policies to ensure safety compliance. The power plant has an evaluation system to evaluate its contractors. Contractors are screened and selected before beginning the work monitor why the work is in progress, and evaluate it after the work is completed. We cannot just tell them what to do and not follow up on that because they will focus on their tests only. If we go on site and check on them regularly, they know that we actually mean it when we tell them that here we are strict about safety and they follow all the safety requirements that they have well. Another success story is the plant's tool inspection policy. Inspection of devices and equipment of contractors are undertaken on the first day of operation. The equipment brought in by contractors is inspected by the power plant's offices before use. We then attach approval tags to safe equipment. 
During operation, if we find any defect in the equipment or if it appears to be not ready for use, we request that the contractor repair that equipment or remove it from the site. Cultural differences in Thailand also play a role in how safety policies are communicated. Thai respect for those older or with more authority than themselves makes some safety practices challenging to implement. Basically, Thai people don't want to confront with anyone. So the stop work authority that to go to see another person and say, hey, stop, you do something that is unsafe, that is not easy to implement that process here. We have to educate people to understand that by doing that. It's not just to blame you or to say that you are not capable, you do something wrong or do you do something bad. We try to say that sometimes we can forget something and we as your friend, we care about your safety, we care about your health. The success of TECO's contractor safety management program required willingness from GE and Chevron to merge their best practices and for the plant staff and safety committee to turn these practices into a world-class safety culture. The results are impressive. This year, TECO received an excellent national safety award from the Thailand Ministry of Labor for the fifth year in a row. And they just passed one million work hours without a lost time incident. The contractors know, well certainly their management knows, and I think it's being relayed to their people, that we have very high demands, very high requirements for safety. Contractors have said, it's tough working here, but it is the safest site in Thailand.